It is now time for the waving of the Lulav and Etrog. I'm going to say the blessing over the Lulav and Etrog, and then I will explain a little bit about what they are and why we use them. Uh, and then everybody will have opportunity to come up and participate in waving the Lulav and Etrog. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us concerning the waving of the lulav and etrog. Amen. Uh, so you'll notice in my hand uh, are random pieces of plants. Um, no, it's, uh, it's called the, what's in my right hand is grouping. It's called the lulav. The lulav itself is actually the palm from. But it's a palm from, it's a willow, and it's a myrtle branch. Uh, and then the etrog, which is a citron fruit, citron fruit, uh, which is a uh, kind of a native citrus fruit in Israel. Um, it looks like a uh, really weathered and uh, uh, wrinkly lemon, but it smells about a thousand times better than a lemon does, which is really awesome. I always encourage everybody, once you've waved them, to like take a second and, and smell the, uh, the, the etrog, the citron fruit. Uh, the, these together are called the arba minim, or the four species. Uh, and it's really interesting uh, as we talk about it, because one of the overarching realities and the tradition behind the, the lulav and etrog is that you're taking these four species and bringing them together in unity to worship the Lord. And the, uh, the, the interesting thing about it is each of the four species grow natively in Israel, but in entirely different regions in Israel naturally. Um, so they've, they've kind of uh, uh, moved them around and planted them in different parts of Israel, but naturally they grew in four different places, four different regions in Israel with different types of, uh, uh, of, of weather patterns and so on. And so you would actually traditionally, uh, it's believed that when we go all the way back to like the tabernacle days in Shiloh, that you would have people from those different regions that would pluck the palm from from their region, and somebody from another region would pluck all the, the willow branches from theirs, and somebody else would pluck the citron from theirs, and, and then they'd all converge together at the tabernacle, and then later the temple, and they would share them all together because you've got all these different parts of Israel coming together as one in unity, right? And so the four species have a few traditional representations that they they, uh, they stand for. Uh, the four kinds are, uh, uh, they hold symbolism of uh, traditionally what are called uh, the four types of Jews with differing levels of Torah knowledge and observance. Uh, bringing them together represents our unity as a nation despite our external differences. The four species symbolizes the unification of four categories of Jews and service of God. And those four categories are as follows. The lulav, which is the palm from, uh, it has taste but has uh, no smell, symbolizing those who study Torah, but do not possess good deeds, or they, they do not follow through on what the Torah says. Next is the Hadas, has a good smell, but no taste, symbolizing those who possess good deeds, but do not study Torah. Uh, the Arava has neither taste nor smell, symbolizing those who la uh, lack both Torah and good deeds, so they don't care about the Word of God in any way, studying it, uh, living it out, or what have you. And then the Etrog, the citron fruit, has both a good taste and a good smell, symbolizing those who have both Torah and and good deeds, and the premise is that they come together in unity. Um, the second explanation finds that the four species uh, are alluding to parts of the human body. Each of the species or its leaves is similar to the shape to the following organs. The lulav or the palm from is uh, similar to the, uh, the spine of the, the human back. The uh, hadas or the, uh, the, the myrtle, the leaves are similar to the eye. The arva or the willow is similar to the mouth. And then the etrog is similar to the heart. And it's talking about the shape of them and the way that they appear. And so by binding the, the four species together uh, as a mitzvah, as a, an act of service before the Lord, we show our desire to consecrate our entire being to the service of God. Now, if you've ever spent any actual time in the Word of God, you're going to notice it sounds very familiar to some of what Paul teaches about the body of Messiah being different parts of the body that all come together in unity as one. 
uh, and that those each of us have different roles and responsibilities, but we're ultimately one body. And the leg can't do what the arm does, and the arm can't do what the eye does, and the eye can't do what the, the ear does, and so on and so forth. But that we each have a piece to the puzzle, and we come together uh, creating one body, doing something phenomenal uh, for the presence of God. And so the Lulav and Etrog represent this reality. And so the way that we use the Lulav and Etrog, you hold the Lulav in your dominant hand. So if you're right handed, it's going to be in your right hand. If you're left-handed, it's going to be in the other hand, in your left hand. If you, uh, and then your etrog sits in the non-dominant hand. So if you are right-handed, it will be in your left hand. If you're left-handed, it'll be on the other side. And then we bring them together with our hands together. And you actually face east to begin with. And you wave it three times to the east. And then you turn around and you wave it three times to the west. And then you turn and wave it three times to the south. And three times to the north, and then you wave it up, and you wave it down. And the reason we do this is because part of the beauty of Sukkot is that it is a harvest festival in which we've harvested the crops of that season and bring it to the Lord, and we're thanking him for his provision, for making our produce be uh, productive, and for giving us plenty of food and, and, and product to sell and so on. And so uh, each of these are, are plants that grow in specifically high uh, levels of water in their region. They have to have a lot of water to be healthy. Uh, and so the idea is we are uh, worshiping the Lord by thanking him to the east, to the west, to the north, to the south, up and down. In other words, every way we could possibly look, we're thanking him for his provision, which is in all aspects of our life and in everything that we do. So uh, we are going to give you an opportunity if you would like to. We have two sets of uh, uh, Lulav and Etrug. If you would like to come up, I'm going to ask you to kind of form a line or two lines rather down the, the aisle of the sanctuary here. The worship team is going to play a rejoicing song because this is a rejoicing thing we are celebrating before the Lord. And then we're going to invite you guys to come down and to participate in the waving of the Lulav and Etrug. Who ya say, who ya say, who ya say, 
Yes, I know.